What's up, everybody? How you doing out there? It's once again your boy, Derek Pretty Boy Down. Pretty Boy the Panther growl for me, ladies. Wow. Growl. You know, all you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And welcome to the show that asks you the question of the day. Welcome to Live from Sour Apple. Today I have a guest with me, as you can see, a young, beautiful lady who is an artist, has won... Um, some, some some art shows has had her work and you know shown at the Museum of Science and Industry. Yeah. Yes, you know. So without further ado, I give you Nicole Malcolm. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So as you know uh, from seeing some of the past shows, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, you just issue a question out to the people, mm -hmm. and, and we get their feedback, and you go back and you comment on what they have to say. All right. So, all what's right. your question of the day? All right. My question is, is I know everyone heard the saying of, it takes a village to raise a child. Mm -hmm. What happened to our villages? Where's our village at? What's, we have all this violence going on, all these, I've, I've been told of... 20 something year old men that have multiple children mm -hmm. and they don't know how to read. Where, where are our villages at? We need some people out here teaching these so, people so, how to read and so, wait, this, that, Just another. before you get into okay, it, I'm let's sorry. break it down. So the question she's basically yes. saying is What happened to our villages? What happened to our villages? So for, for some people who've not familiar with that term, what happened to basically the pride that we as a people took and to making sure that our youth was raised yes is raised and are being raised well yes it takes a village to raise a child so what happened to our village where y'all at where, where where's where our elders are? right them that yes where yeah. are our, our elders? elders you know what i'm saying you know what I, I and that's an interesting thing that you would say that i you know what i think the majority of our elders are too afraid of us and then the ones that's not afraid of us mm -hmm. is, is too busy talking crap about us mm -hmm. than to help. And I feel that when you sit down and you talk about something or you talk about a situation mm -hmm. and all you do is talk about the situation, you're not helping. True. You're not helping because True. all you're doing is talking. You're, you're bad mouthing us or you're bad mouthing uh, the younger crowd because mm -hmm. I mean we kind of getting up there a little bit <laughs> so, and you're bad, you're bad mouth in the younger crowd but you're not doing anything to change the situation and in that regard you're doing nothing but assisting the problem right you right. see what I'm saying right. and I feel as if we as younger people were more receptive and you as older people were more hands on like before it could work but it's, I think I think the problem is now with this whole thug mentality they scared of us but it's a lot of people. It's a lot of old people who are just scared of the young young folks. That's true. That's very true. Yeah. But see, now that brings upon another question. Mm -hmm. How how for us, for example, because we're right in the middle. What mm -hmm. are we doing as the in between folks to bridge that gap? Because mm -hmm. we yes, we need um, the elders to step up, but we need to knock down a lot of these. The pride of the young people, and and we have to have that. We need our respect back. Mm -hmm. We need our respect back for our elders to allow them to speak, to allow them to do this, that, and the other. But still, what are we doing to to put them in check and to bring our elders out to help them? Well, I see. And again, I want to say I would have to take it back to well, of course, like I do my best whenever I offer to come speak at schools and talk. I, mm -hmm. I definitely do that. I go to Corliss if the necessary black star project you know i do i do the best that i can do on that level then also even with the whole you know sour apple and everything I try to keep the best uh image mm -hmm. as possible like if a lot of you guys follow me on my uh, social medias i'm grown but being grown don't mean i should say whatever i feel and if you check on my social medias i try to substitute curse words mm -hmm. and and things like that so i mean just overall you just got to put out a better image you see what true, I'm saying? Yes, in the, in, in the ground, but grassroots, you know, a plant grows how you water and take care of it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I think it definitely has to start at home, parents. And that's another thing. And that thing. brings back to the villagers. Yeah, it does bring back <laughs> to the villagers. But that's another problem. Our, our, uh, our mothers are even younger now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they babies. Mm -hmm. So they don't know how to raise their babies. You got babies raising babies, and you don't know. Like... Every day, everybody like, why you don't have a kid yet? Trust me, I want a kid like six seconds ago. But until I have the 
financial structure to, to properly take care the of that right, child. The right situation. Uh-huh. The right situation, mm-hmm. the proper stuff, the financial thing. I'm just not going to do it. And apparently, you know, we live in a society where, especially in the African-American community, it's okay to just pop out a kid and you working at McDonald's. Not to say working at McDonald's mm-hmm. is bad, but you can't. It was that dude that got like 19 kids and got a minimum wage job. Mm. But For real? It, it, it still brings about... Somebody needs to give him a reality show and pay for his kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's what needs to happen. But it, no, it, it still brings upon the villagers. Because mm-hmm. even when the parents can't teach or are un, uh, unable to teach, mm-hmm. we still need to... You, you know, I strongly feel that we need to be offering... Um, Workshops, some type of reading workshops, some type of um, what do they call that? Etiquette, etiquette for the ladies. Training. Right, well, etiquette, for, etiquette both for both men. Both. Right, on. I'm sorry for both yeah. men. But now, don't get me wrong, because I am, I am definitely an advocate for our men because I strongly feel that by our men being our leaders, mm. we need to help. We need to help them because they are what's going to help these women out here. Mm-hmm. We can have a woman come to a woman and tell them, baby, you know, no, nah, don't do that. But if you had a man that came to a woman, especially if it's that type of man that, oh, my God, he is everything I want. He mm-hmm. got money. He has rims. He has this, that, and the other. But then he respectfully put a woman in her place like, no, baby, you don't have to look like a hoe in order to get attention or to get this, that, and the other. I bet you a lot of women wouldn't be out here like how they are. Mm -hmm. So it's it's still, yes, the villagers, that's one thing. And our men, I love our black, I love our black men, our our men, period. Mm -hmm. But... As our leaders, I mean, come on now, people. We have no more excuses. Barack Obama is president. Whether you were for or against Barack Obama, mm-hmm. he's a black man in in leadership. Mm-hmm. So, um, we already up there in, okay. in in presidential. Let's get that way on the streets. Let's get that. Way Let's on get the that way on the streets. Okay. Where, where's our leadership? So, that's another question. So we gonna get, we gonna go ahead and, and I, I think that's pretty much you done. You done pretty much gave you a <laughs> breakdown and the question. Why I'm to our villages? What do we need to make these youth, to get these youth back right and stop this violence? Where are our villages at? We need you. A household is not a household without the heads. Because we need y'all men, baby. We need, we need y'all. We need it. We need y'all. They need it. Come on, guys. Executive plumbers. Uh, <laughs> Executive plumbers. Remember that topic. Executive plumbers. Take it back. If you don't know what Good I'm talking about, man. check it back to, uh, to Fuzzies. Uh, I think that was episode two or something like that. Go back. Live from Sour Apple, episode two, Fuzzy Edition. Nicole Malcolm Edition. But before we go, of course, like always, now Nicole doesn't rap or sing or anything like that. But Rapping she... soon. Look out for me, Mad Painter. Oh, you going to be a rapper yes, now? Yes, yes. You yes. rap now? Soon, soon. I be, didn't know that. Be freestyle. listening now. Well, freestyle right quick. Uh, Oh, no, 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 give me shit. something, give me, give me four <laughs> bars, see, she shouldn't have said that, give me four bars, um, no, 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 four no, bars, anything, freestyle, not freestyle, well, give me something that you done wrote down, um, anything, uh, just hit him right quick, um, oh, uh, no, not shit, not okay. shit, I'm, I'm coming though, I'm all right. coming, well, so back, so, okay, then, I'm going to take you, because she does paint, so I'm going to take you to the art gallery, which is also known as the stage, which is also known as the amphitheater, which is the back seat of South <laughs> Apple. So I'm going to take you here and let you get some of uh, her artwork. You know what I'm saying? You see it? I hope you can see it in the back of the, back of the apple. Some good some good stuff going on back here. And I do a nice variety. This she, is not the only man, thing. Man, this is not the only thing she do. But now you got it, and now you see it. So, we're going to hurry up and get out of here because, you know, we got to keep this under 10 minutes. We weren't supposed to let it go over 6, but we feeling it. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't thank forget www.lapnation.blogspot.com. Sign in. She's going to sign in. Join, follow. Just look to the right. Hit the little, click the little follow thing so you can put your name in. You get a, if you got a Google or Yahoo, you can easily sign up. Start leaving comments. Come on, people. Let's not be a haters. Let's don't hate. Let's participate. We love you. Thank you for joining us on another episode. You don't me. wave. Support me too, but support. you don't wave. We don't wave in this car. Oh, oh. We chuck deuces all day, every day. All day.